Krishna facing a lot of problems uh, here in Pakistan. Uh, we are 2.5% uh, here and there is a lot of Muslims, 98% Muslims. There are about 17% Muslims, fundamental organizations, uh, Taliban, Al-Qaeda and many different, many other uh, organizations. Those who are making problems for Christians. They are beating, they are kidnapping, they are raping, they are burning, they are killing. All kind of persecution Christians are facing due to their faith in Christ. Up to now, uh, 43 Christians killed in different uh, incidents. Uh, some are uh, killed in Gojra incident. There was a Bahawalpur incident. It was attacked in, uh, uh, in Bahawalpur after 9-11. Then there was an attack on Christian Murray School. There were some people who were killed. There was an attack on uh, Taxla Mission uh, School. So there are, there are about 43 people who were killed. Because I'm Christian, I face huge persecution. The Muslims kidnapped me, took me away and locked me in a room. They raped me, they beat me also. They were forcing me to convert to Islam. When I got the chance, when they locked my room, I was praying to Jesus Christ. Please, release me from this place. My brother was very good and he was a kind of leader in this village because when Christian girls were going to attend the church Muslim boys were fooling around with the girls It was Palm Sunday The Muslims were saying You can't have a prayer service today But my brother said I will give my life but we will make sure that there will be a Sunday service so they brought all of the girls and the Christian people and my brother said, okay, go ahead, we are going to have a prayer service. But Muslims came and they beat pastor's wife also and pastor's sons also and they beat my brother also. My brother stood up against the Muslims and later on they took my brother away and they killed him. When my brother was here, in this world, we were very comfortable. No one was looking at us. The Muslims weren't looking at us. He was taking good care of us. And may God give him a good place in heaven. After him, we are facing a lot of problems. When he died, one of the Muslims came to me and was telling me, we killed your brother. We can kill your other brother also. So after that, life was hard. They kidnapped me and were forcing me to convert to Islam. They were thinking that I might take revenge for the murder of my brother. That's why they were forcing me to convert to Islam. They took me, they beat me and they raped me. I was going with my mother and brother to visit some relatives. While on the road, two men came on a motorbike. They had a pistol in their hands. They fired in the air and told my mother and brother to get down in the field. They took me forcefully on the motorbike. It's an everyday story, like uh, Safiya's story. There's a lot of abductions, there's a lot of rapes, and uh, there's a lot of uh, force uh, for the conversion. The, the religion is saying that invite people towards Islam. So they're inviting every day. And that is not just imitation, they are forcing us, they are forcing Christians to be converted. The most important issue we are dealing with, that is uh, blasphemy. The blasphemy law is to disgrace Quran or to disgrace uh, uh, the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Muslims, they are using that law as a tool 
whenever they have their personal revenge, they have personal uh, issues, property dispute, money dispute, every dispute, they just say that uh, he, he disgraced Quran or Prophet. Because of the murder of my brother, we needed money to fight his case in the court. We had no money, so we took a loan from the landlords, but that was not enough. Then my family, my brothers and sisters, everybody started working in the brick kiln. Because brick kiln owners also give loans, so we had some loans from him and then we started working in the brick kilns and we are still working. There's a lot of people uh, working, uh, not only the bread kiln, but the people those are in bondage. I'll say that around about 40% people are working in the, these kind of, kind of uh, situation. It's a very tough life on the brick kiln. You have to work all day making bricks. When, if sometimes you make less bricks, they beat you up. Finally, we were released from the brick kiln because VOM paid our debt. I have great peace in my heart now because I am with Jesus. I want that the young people, those who are working in the brick kilns in my village, they should also pray and come to Jesus. They will feel peace also. I am teaching Bible and giving the girls sewing skills so they can also feel peace in their lives. The most uh, important thing is to pray for the Christian community in Pakistan. that uh, God bless them, God give them strength, God give, uh, God encourage them uh, to face all these kind of persecution. And uh, be thankful and be happy during the persecution also. I'll say to the young girls, pray, pray and pray. Read the word, stay close to Jesus Christ. You can pray with your family, with your brothers and sisters. Stay close together. Just pray. I pray for my guests, those who came from abroad. May God bless them. They are helping us and give them strength and encouragement so they can help other people also. I also pray for those who are sick and in trouble. May God heal them and take their worries. And once again, I want to pray for our guests. May God bless them and save them and stay with them in their journeys. Amen.